My name is Joshua Hardman. I'm a Staff Sergeant uh, 19 Delta in 2-1 Cab, which is in 1st Brigade. Hey, I'm Steven Vanderbilt. I'm a First Lieutenant and I'm in the Corps of Engineers. Uh, Trent Hansen. I'm a Chief Warrant Officer 4 and 915 Echo, Maintenance Technician. Griseldo Rosas. I'm a Specialist in the Army and I'm a 91 Delta as my MOS, a Generator Mechanic. My name is RJ Willing. I'm Captain, technically still a Captain. I'm in the Reserve, so I'm a Captain and I got out last August. Hi, my name is Justin Mitchell Hind, uh, U.S. Navy retired. My name is Jeffrey Benjamin Delano. I am a specialist in the U.S. Army. My, my name is uh, Ryan Temple. I'm a Staff Sergeant in the United States Army. Um, I'm still active duty right now. Uh, I'll be getting out of the service in the next three months. The training went great. These past six weeks, we've learned so much. This is a great program, I think. Uh, for me, learning all about, learning all this is essential because this is actually what I wanted to do before I got out. I just didn't know there was a class available until I started getting out. Uh, the training that I've received so far from Solar Energy International has been spot on. Um, actually, it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would just be a lot of classroom, kind of repetitive learning, this is what you're gonna do, but the hands-on portion has been awesome. Actually, this is, this is great, this is great. Well, the instructors are they're great, they're very knowledgeable, they understand it, they've worked in solar. They're just not teachers that just come out and teach and have never done it. They've actually done the hands-on. It's pretty, uh, pretty smart guys great. and girls. The, the hands-on by far teaches me in particular um, a much, I learn a lot better with hands-on training as opposed to going out of the book and memorizing stuff. So the fact that you guys can bring this mobile training to us instead of sending us somewhere uh, is very valuable, I would say. Um, it was hands-on was just was outstanding. Uh, the uh, the classes that we went through, um, the labs that we did was just was awesome. We got to learn the material in the classroom and then actually actually go touch the material and put stuff together and test it right there. So uh, uh, the marriage between the two was awesome. Being a veteran and knowing how difficult the job market can be, Getting this training and then having this opportunity to meet with employers is 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 incredible. It's uh, it's great that SEI is able to put this together and and do this for people that are getting out of the service. I think it's an invaluable uh, something something else besides the military for, for people. So coming here, setting up houses with solar power to compensate for the grid or to help with the grid. That's exactly what I do in Afghanistan. So this to me is, this is up my alley. This is what I can do. I can, what I can bring to this, I already have an understanding of inversion of AC to DC, or DC to AC. And setting everything up, I understand the electrical side, I understand wiring, I understand panels. It's, it's actually not that hard, it's just more technical in this field than it is in the Army. Um, there's a lot of, leadership qualities that are important to the solar industry and obviously system design is just a small component of it. We also have installation and sales team that um, work together to you know, distribute these systems across the country and get them installed on people's roofs. Oh, I think it'd be great, uh, especially when organizations recognize the leadership training, not only, you know, an officer, but also the, the NCOs and the senior NCOs. But um, the type of training that we get as officers uh, is fantastic in leading small teams, crews, projects especially, it's project management, um, which would be a, a great opportunity, um, I think, as a lateral transition for an officer. 
Well, we manage a lot of maintenance operations and how uh, fixing vehicles and fixing tanks and generators and setting up the grids for uh, power generation. And we're able to manage those guys and uh, get the whole system set up. So it's pretty similar to what we're doing solar, is when you start setting up the system, you manage those guys, they get it all hooked up, they test it, and you make sure safety's happening, or there's a lot of safety, and then you commission the system. Well, again, the, the loyalty, the uh, attention to detail, the commitment, and you don't have to think twice when you ask a vet to do something. Uh, you know it's going to get it done, and it's going to be very thorough from A to B. It's not a lot of uh, looking over the shoulder micromanagement. You can actually above and beyond uh, the normal scope of expectations, I think. Um, so as a leader, I, I uh, can manage personnel very efficiently. I can manage time. I'm a multitasker. Uh, I can do project management. Um, taking this training, I feel that I could be uh, an asset to whatever company hires me just based on the training that I got and my understanding of the solar industry, what little I have right now, and how to how the solar arrays work. Um, it would be a benefit to any company that could hire me um, straight out of this training course. Well, safety is probably like the biggest concern for people working on roofs because you're, you're up 30 feet, you're uh, you're holding these big panels and you have to worry about wind, falls, you got to make sure you have anchor points. So safety is a, a huge concern for these companies in terms of their liability for workers' compensation and injuries. You know, it, it's, it's second nature, really. Everything's risk, 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 risk assessment, ramp. You know, there's always that, all, you know, risk is in, in, ingrained in everything we do in the military. So it's only natural that when you go into a job like this, especially when they emphasize it so much here, and the potential for, uh, for risk. I think it's a, it's a natural progression. Um, well, I didn't know that less than an amp can kill you. Um, so just knowing that you need to be on your toes all the time and the way that we are on our toes all the time to maintain safety at ranges and in the field and moving around vehicles, uh, it's going to be key to keeping the solar injury go industry going. Uh, if a lot of people get hurt and injured in the solar industry because they don't understand what's going on or they just aren't paying attention to uh, what cables and wires and conduits are connected together, uh, it's, it's not going to be a good, good name for the industry. So Today we all had a chance to go in and speak with uh, the largest people, the largest players in the solar industry. And it's it was a great it was a great benefit to have all of them come here to visit us instead of us having to go to each and every one of them. With the uh, employers coming here to talk to you, it's almost like a backwards interview. You're you don't know what position. You're still kind of on the fence of what you want to do. You might have a good uh, idea of what you, what you think you might want to go into, but uh, uh, getting the chance to actually talk to all the different companies uh, was. Uh, was a good benefit for us because I'm sure these are their top recruiters they have and to come out here to visit all 24 of us and basically fight for us uh, it, it was it was great to it, it's it's definitely in the students favor so I'm Chris Nichols I work for the Department of Energy Sunshot Initiative we're trying to bring the cost of solar down make it accessible and durable and affordable for everybody in the United States, one way or another by 2020. We've got a big challenge ahead of us. Mary Jenkins, I am the Career Skills Program Coordinator uh, for Region 5, which encompasses uh, 13 different states and six different uh, Army installations. My name is Kyle Bolger, and I teach classes for Solar Energy International all throughout the country. So my name is Tim Coates. I work for Texas Solar Outfitters, and I'm also an instructor for Solar Energy International. I would love to see it continued. We always joke about training the Solar Army, and now we get to literally train the Solar Army. Um, there's obviously a lot of great people that are trying to serve their country through the service, and they can serve their country and the world through solar energy uh, once they retire. And, you know, it's just important that we connect um, our, our soldiers, our service members, transitioning service members, to meaningful employment and things that, you know, they feel passionate about, not just, hey, I gotta go to, here's a job, I go to work every day, you know? Um, and I like that. I love seeing the smile on their faces and I, I feel like I'm the, their mom. 
uh, to be honest, and except for the older ones. Nah, yeah. Anyway, so that's it. I just hope it continues to stick around and that we can expand to other uh, installations and. Um, uh, I mean, it'll be helpful for our country too. Uh, you know, from on a personal note, I'm really grateful that I'm having getting a, getting a chance to give something back to these folks who have, you know, uh, given themselves to service, and uh, and I feel that like I really hope that they'll have the opportunity to take the skills that we teach them here and bring them out into civilian life, and that that will help them out. Clean energy is the future. Um, solar's growing like wildfire. We have vertical growth. I want good jobs with good wages to go to our heroes, people that have served us so well. And I think this program fills the gaps that were in the existing veteran support programs and training programs in a meaningful way that helps everybody, the, the military personnel, the solar industry, certainly the taxpayer who's getting a great deal, and the consumer who gets better products, more durable and more cheaply through a, a more qualified workforce. It's, there's just no downside to this program. I want to see it go everywhere.